Hollywood. Here's the game where knowledge is king and Lady Luck is queen. It's The Joker's Wild. And now, here's your host, the star of The Joker's Wild, Brandon Scrub. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another great episode of The Joker's Wild here at MVG Productions. Glad to have you aboard with me on this one. All right, our last game, we crowned a new interim champion who won over $86,000 in cash and prizes. He's back today to defend his interim championship, and he's got some tough competition in this one. So let's meet our players for this first game of The Joker's Wild. Introducing first, our challenger from the great cheese state of Wisconsin, it's Neil. And our returning interim champion, who's won game cash and prizes total, $86,576, it's Justin Noyes. Gentlemen, welcome to the Joker's Wild. Neil, how are we doing today, sir? I am fantastic. Glad to be sitting right here on my computer inside because A, it's hot outside right now, and B, it's storm. Yeah, that's always a good place to be when it's bad weather outside. All right, well, yeah. remind the folks, everybody in YouTube land a little bit about yourself. Wisconsin, as you mentioned, specifically Fond du Lac, which is somewhere in between Milwaukee and Green Bay. And I love game shows, love prices, right? Specifically, and everybody knows this by now, but my favorite model is Rachel. Absolutely, yes, that's why. I was, since I met met him and got to know the guy a little bit, I've always called him the Price is Right expert. Any questions I've got, he usually has an answer for him nine times out of ten. So maybe the Price is Right will come up as a category today. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But best of luck to you today, Neil. And our returning interim Thanks. champion, Justin, with $86,576 cash and prizes. Have you thought about what you're going to do with your money this time around? Not really. Well, hopefully you can um, th give it time, maybe earn some more today, mm. maybe work toward a big plan. Uh, right now, I think if you get two more wins, it's going to improve your ranking on the leaderboard right now. So hopefully you can pull that off. Are you ready, sir? Later. All right, well, best of luck to you both. You guys know how the Joker's Wild works. You got categories up on the reels here. All you got to do is get be the first player to get to $5,000 in proper turn, and you win the game. You go on in first shot. And you go on to play the bonus round for even more cash and prizes. All right? So with that said, best of luck to both of you. Let's go ahead and take a look at the categories for our first game of the Joker's Wild today, and they are the following. We have food and drink, anything goes, we are booked, music, geek chic, and finally, we finish with athletic feats. Alright, and let's unlock the reels for our players. We have Justin and Neil, we're all set, ready to go. And game one of the Joker's Wild is underway, and as always, the challengers start, so Neil, when you're ready, give those reels a spin. Let's play the Joker's Wild. All right. Uh, music, food, drink, and a pair. Mm. Let me try food and drink. All right, go on food and drink for five hundred dollars. All right, here comes your food and drink question. All right, now under food and drink, here comes your question. Stuckey's, a brand of convenience stores, popularized a confectionery log roll covered with what kind of nut? Is it A, peanut, B, walnut, or C, pecan? Oh, boy. Never heard of this place before, so this is going to be a stab in the dark. I'm just going to guess walnut. No, I'm sorry. It's not a walnut. Uh, Justin, you can pick up five hundred dollars here if you know the answer. Okay. It is pecan. That is your right. You get five hundred. All right, and you're on the board first. Five hundred to nothing. Justin, you're spent. Joker, Joker. We are booked. Wow, I thought we were gonna have a Joker on the first spin. 
Wow. What do you want to do? $2,000 Weir Book. Going Weir Book. Going all the way for $2,000 in the Weir Book category. Of course, the Jokers are wild. You can use those for any categories you'd like. Under the category of Weir Book, here comes your question. All right. In the classic novel about Paddington Bear, what was the name of the family that Paddington Bear lived with? For $2,000, name them. I have no idea. Pass. Pass. All right, Neil, you can pick up $2,000. Take the lead if you know this one. Can you repeat the question, yes. please? Yes. In, in the classic novel about Paddington Bear, what was the last name of the family that Paddington Bear lived with? Hmm. I honestly don't know this one. Oh, that's okay. Uh, they actually they actually referenced them in the uh, recent uh, remake of the movie made a couple years ago. The last name was the Browns. He lived with the Brown family. All right, so no money changes hands there. Score still five hundred and nothing. And Neil, it's your spin. Got geek sheet, food and drink, and music. Let me try food and drink again. All right, going food and drink again for five hundred dollars. All right, Neil, for five hundred dollars under food and drink, here's your question: What food franchise had the campaign in the nineteen eighties with the catchphrase "Avoid the Noid"? For five hundred dollars, name the fast food company. Or sorry, name the food franchise. I say, excuse me. I honestly don't know this one either. Sorry. Yeah. You gotta be kidding me. All right. All right. No money there. All right, Jesse, you can pick up 500 if you know it. It's Domino's. Domino's Pizza is correct. You got it. 500 more. I think somebody knew that one thing. Yeah, it made a popular video game about trying to catch the Noid uh, for the, for the Nintendo. On my computer. I think I played it once as a kid. I have avoid the noise for uh, dogs, and I think I have a your noise for the NES. Yes, it is. All right, scores a thousand to nothing. Justin, your spin. Athletic feet, geek cheek, and a pair. Athletic feet, five hundred. Athletic feet for five hundred. Here comes your athletic feet question. All right, Justin, the first Thanksgiving NFL game was played to get people to watch which team? Again, the first Thanksgiving NFL game was played to get people to watch which team? Is it A, the, D the Dallas Cowboys, B, the Detroit Lions, or C, the Chicago Bears? Chicago Bears? No, I'm sorry, it's not the Chicago Bears. You can pick up 500 if you know it, Neil. I want to say the Dallas Cowboys. No, sorry, it's not the Cowboys either. The correct answer is actually the Detroit Lions. They scheduled a Thanksgiving game because they were, I believe they were one of the newer teams in the market, or one of the newer ones at the time they just moved, and they wanted to get them some exposure. So, yes, the Thanksgiving Day game, contrary to popular belief, was actually made for the Lions, not necessarily the Cowboys. They've taken over since, mind you. And they've done pretty decent, actually. For the Thanksgiving Day games. Anyway, we move on. Thousand to nothing. Neil, it's your spin again. Let's see, get you on the board. Joker. Joker. Anything goes. Oh. Oh. Well, let me try anything goes for 2,000. All right. Question could be just about anything because anything goes in this category. Here it is for $2,000. Neil, what is the largest wine-producing country in the world? For $2,000, name it. You said country, right? Yes, looking for a largest wine-producing country. 
Well, this seems so typical of me to say this, but United States? No, I'm sorry. It's not the U.S. It's a good guess, but not what we're looking for. Justin, for 2000, you know it. France? France is the correct answer. Very good. $2,000. I was thinking Italy, but Justin got it. Italy would have been another good guess as well. They drink a lot of wine there, too, and produce a nice one. But, yeah, French, the French produce the most wine for the world. All right, it's 3000 to nothing. Justin with a big lead here. You're a spin. <laughs> Athletic feats, Joker, and anything goes. Ooh, well, uh, uh, Athletic feats, $1,000. All right, Athletic feats for $1,000 this time. Here comes your Athletic <laughs> feats question. All right, Justin. What recently, what recently retired NBA superstar said, "These young guys are playing checkers. I'm out here playing chess." For two, for a thousand dollars, who said it? Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant is correct. Very good. Thousand dollars. Very good. 4000 nothing. Neil, we got to get you on the board here, buddy. Give me a big spin here. Geek chic, boom drink, and we're booked. Ooh. Now, uh, let me try geek chic. All right, going geek chic this time. Geek chic for $500. Here comes your question under geek chic. All right, Neil, in computing, what does MB stand for? The letters MB stand for. For $500, name it. Megabytes. Megabytes is correct. Very good. $500, George, on the board. There we go. 500 to 4000 Just in your spin. You're double, man. You're double. Joker. Joker. Athletic feats. Oh. Again. Athletic feats, two thousand. All right, get this question correct on the athletic feats. It gives you six thousand dollars and proper turn enough to win the game, and you'll go on to see if you can face the devil once again. Miss it, however, and Neil has a chance to pick up the two thousand from you. All right. Okay, here is your question. What a op what opponent? Had his ear partially bitten off by Mike Tyson. For $2,000 and the game, name him. Wow. Tyson Berry? Say that again? Tyson Berry? No, I'm sorry. It's not there. It's incorrect. Maybe you can pick up $2,000 on this one if you know it. Uh... Muhammad Ali? No, another no. guess it was not Muhammad Ali. Eric, do you know it? Who was it? Evander Holyfield. Yes, it was Holyfield on that one. All right, so can't give any money away in that one. Score is still 4,000 to 500. Neil, you're still alive. You're a spin. Can't believe you guys are Joker! 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 Well, 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 Neil, three jokers. We've actually seen them come up quite a bit recently compared to the start of the season here. All right, three jokers means this question is going to automatically bump your score to $5,000. If you get it right, you will win the game, Neil. Uh, with the jokers, you may pick any of the categories that we have on the board. Again, uh, the categories this time are food and drink, athletic feats, we're booked, music, geek chic, and anything goes. Which category would you like? I'm going to bet it all on Geek Chic. Geek Chic again. All right. Geek Chic. All 
All right. Under Geek Chic, here comes your question, Neil. For $5,000 and the game, what color is copper sulfate? Again, what color is copper sulfate? Is it A, red, B, yellow, C, blue, or D, brown? Can you repeat the choices, please? Yes. Red, yellow, blue, or brown? Oh, I'm going to guess yellow. No, I'm sorry. It's not <sighs> yellow. Copper sulfate is actually naturally blue in color. Blue in color. So I can't oh give that God. one to you. Justin is safe, still alive in this game. 4000 to 500 Justin, you're spin. Oh, Geek Sheet music, and we're booked. Oh, come on! Geek Sheet 500. Going to Geek Sheet for 500. Here comes your Geek Sheet question. All right, Justin, what color is the blood of a horseshoe crab? What color is the blood of a horseshoe crab? For $500, name it. Blue. It is blue. Very good. You got it. All right, $4,500 to 500 Neil, you need a big spin here. See if we can get three jokers again. We're booked. Music and a joker. Uh, let me try music for a thousand. All right, get this correct and put you up to fifteen hundred dollars. However, miss it and Justin gets the question correctly. It'll give him fifty-five hundred dollars enough to win the game. All right, category is music. Here comes your. Under music, here's your question, Neil. When it comes to music, what does R and B stand for? For a thousand dollars, name it. Rhythm and blues. Rhythm and blues is correct. Very good. All right, you're up to fifteen hundred. Scores forty five hundred to fifteen hundred. Justin, one more question correct wins you the game. Give it a spin. All right, it doesn't matter to me. Come on, Joker, Geek Chic. And we're booked. Uh, Geek Chic for Grand. Geek Chic for a thousand. All right. Get this question correct. It gives you $5,500. Enough to win the game. However, missed it. Neil, could pick, Neil will still be alive and has a chance to play some catch up here. Under Geek Chic, here's the question Justin, the terms Breeze and Gale help describe the speed of what? For a thousand dollars in the game, name it. The wind. Wind is correct. You got yourself a win. Congratulations, oh, yeah. Justin. Another fifty-five hundred dollars for you, and you're gonna go back to have your shot to face the devil in just a moment. Well, Neil, you you played a good game, sir. You just ran up against some bad questions in your sake, and unfortunately missed that triple joker. But we're not going to let you leave here empty handed. We thank you for playing. We got some nice parting gifts and we got $1,000 for you. All right? Thanks for having me, Brandon. No problem. We'll help, and we'll definitely have you back for a future episode. All right, Justin, with that win right there, put your total now up to $91,076 cash and prizes. And we're going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we're going to see if we can add to that by facing off against Lucy in the Face the Devil round right after this here on Joker's Wild. And welcome back to the Joker's Wild here. We're here with Justin, who has won himself his second game. He's got himself $91,000 ca plus cash for prizes. He's going to take a chance to see if he can face the devil now. Come on over, Jeff. All right, Justin, well done. You had a great game that first time around. Now here's your chance to add to your winnings here with more cash and prizes with the prize board here. Got loaded up with some great prizes along with some jokers, which are worth $10,000 each. Spin three jokers on any spin gives you $50,000 in bonus cash with a chance to spin again. 
spin a joker on each of your first two spins, you get the third spin where you get your chance to play for a car. All right, so prize board's ready. Give it a spin. Let's see what you're playing for. All right, here we go. Here we go. Joker, 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 just like that. $50,000 in cash. That's all yours, and you've now earned a bonus spin. Do it one more time. You're playing for $100,000 in a new car. Joker. Nice trip to Tahiti and another Joker. $70,000 in cash. Plus an awesome trip to Tahiti, $78,129, and you've earned the right to play for a brand new car. Three choices up on the reels. Which one would you want to play for? Three. Number three behind three, we have, ooh, a Ford Expedition XLT worth $37,914, making your prize package in this bonus round worth $116,000. $43. Cash and prizes can all be yours, but only if you can face the devil. All right, Justin. $116,000 of prizes is on the line here, and all you have to do to win it is beat the devil in the bonus round. We now have cash amounts up on the reels, ranging from $250 all the way up to $2,000. Your objective is to get to $10,000 before you see Lucy the Devil show up in the reels. If you can do that, you win the cash plus that awesome prize package. We also have some jokers up on the reels. Each joker you spend is worth $1,000 in guaranteed bonus money no matter what happens. But if you can spend three jokers on any of your spins, you win the joker's jackpot, which currently sits at $60,000. If you can do it on one of your first two spins, we'll double that jackpot to $120,000, all right? And of course, as always, if you have a fear of the devil, you can stop and take the money you want and walk away, all right? So if you're ready, sir, the reels are waiting for you. Let's go see if you can pick up a lot of cash on this one. Good luck. First spin, 2000 and uh, wow. Lucy not even playing around today. I, I can kind of, I can kind of hear him now. Lucy's actually away today, which is unusual for him because he likes to show up, especially for the big prizes here. But if he was here, he'd probably say something like, "Ain't no way I'm letting you walk away with one hundred sixteen thousand dollars in prizes and cash. That's gonna take away from the rest of my money and coming out of my pocket. You can't have it." Or something to that line. I don't know. I, I know I don't do a good Lucy impression. It's 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 not my thing. <laughs> um, but Justin, bad news. Unfortunately, I can't give you anything this bonus round. Good news is, however, you are still the reigning interim champion, and you still have to your credit ninety one thousand seventy six dollars of cash and prizes. And we're gonna take another commercial break. When we come back, we're gonna give Justin another chance to play another opponent. See if you can add to his winnings right here on the Joker's Wild. Stay tuned, folks. And welcome back to the Joker's Wild here. Justin, our reigning interim champion with over $90,000 in cash and prizes, ready to take on his next opponent once again. So let's meet him now. Our next opponent for Justin here on the Joker's Wild is his longtime rival here on the show. It's Eric Lima. Eric, welcome back to the Joker's Wild, sir. Thank you very much. All right, you ready to see if you can take that interim crown for yourself this time around? Yes, as always. All right, well, best of luck to you. These two are ready to go out another trivia of war. Let's get right to it and show them the categories they'll be playing with for this second game of the Joker's Wild, and they are the following. We have pop culture, entertainment, language, past, present, and future, math and measures, finally, anything goes. All right, let's unlock the reels for our players now. And as always, the challenger gets to start. Eric, that's you. Give those reels a spin. Let's play. Come on, Joker. Joker, language, and past, present, and future. Interesting choices here. Let's try past, present, and future for $1,000. Okay, past, present, future for $1,000. 
Here comes your question. Under past, present, and future. Eric, in what country can you find the Taj Mahal? For a thousand dollars, name it. India. India is correct. Very good. Thousand dollars. All right, you're on the board. The scores a thousand to nothing. Just in your spin. Pop culture, Joker, and anything goes. Anything goes for a thousand. All right. Well, if anything goes for one thousand dollars, here comes your anything goes question. What famous war was the U.S. engaged in from 1950 to 1953? For a thousand dollars, name the war. Korean. Korean War is correct. Very good. Good job. Good job. Scores a thousand to a thousand. Eric, you're spin. Right. Joker, past, present, future, pop culture. Okay, let's go to pop culture for a thousand, please. All right, pop culture this time for one thousand dollars. Here comes your pop culture question. All right, Eric, what are the first names of famous uh, duo si uh, Simon and Garfunkel? What are the first names of the famous duo of Simon and Garfunkel? For $1,000, name them. Paul and Art. Paul and Art. Paul? Yeah, Paul, Simon, and Art Garfunkel is correct. Very good. $1,000. Almost did not know that. <laughs> good job there. It scores 2000 to 1000 And just at your spin. Entertainment, Joker, and a triple. That helps. Two thousand dollars, entertainment. All right, here it comes. Entertainment, all three windows for two thousand dollars. Here comes your entertainment question. Justin, born on May fifth, Michael Palin is a member of what famous British comedy troupe? For two thousand dollars, name him. I have no idea. Ass. No idea. All right, Eric, pick up 2000 here if you know it. Monty Python's Flying Circus. That is correct. Very good. $2,000. Nobody expects the Lima Inquisition. Exactly. All right, 4000 to $1,000. Eric, you can win on this spin with at least a pair. All right, let's go. Joker, anything goes, and language. Anything goes for a thousand. All right, get this question correct. It'll give you five thousand dollars in proper turn to win the game. Miss it. Just has a chance to stay alive and stay in the game. All right, under anything goes, here's your question, Eric. If you were born on May 24th, what is your astrological sign? For $1,000 and possibly the game, name it. Uh, Gemini? Gemini is correct. Yes. All right, you got $5,000. You can win the game now. But Justin, of course, being the interim champion, gets one more spin. Justin, you know what you need. Three jokers, the only thing that can save you right now. Anything less? Eric becomes the new interim champion. Good luck to you. Past, present, future, past, present, future. That's not going to do it. Eric is the new interim champion. They try, Justin. Uh, by both of you, like I said, just one question. The only mistake made in that round. Unfortunately, that was just one that cost you on that one. But, Eric, congratulations. You're the new interim champion. $5,000. And you're going to go back to see to face Lucy again in just a moment. All right, uh, Justin, you can't be too bad at yourself. You did you did a very good job this time around as your as interim champion, but you're not leaving here empty-handed. You're leaving here with ninety-one thousand seventy-six dollars cash and price. Congratulations to you, and we'll definitely have you back for another episode. All right. All right. 
All right, Eric is our new interim champion with $5,000. Can he win more? We'll find out as he goes to face the devil once again in our bonus crown. We'll do that right after this. We're back here at the Joker's Squad with Mr. Eric Lima, our new interim champion. He's got himself $5,000 in cash and ready to win more playing the bonus round. Come on over here. Alright, congratulations to you. Here you're the new interim champion with $5,000 and now here comes your chance to see if you can earn you some more here. The prize board's already loaded up, ready for you to go. So when you're ready, sir, give that big lever a pull. Let's see what you can be playing for this time. Alright, here we go. Joker, entertainment armoire on a TV, and another Joker makes your prize package so far $23,998, and you've earned enough for another bonus spin. Ready then, here we go. Kennedy bed suit set, a Joker, and a spa makes your prize package now $44,809 cash of prizes, and you earn enough to play for a new car. Three reels up there. Which car you want to play for? Number two, please. Car number two. Behind the two, we have a Ford Mustang worth $21,874, making your prize package $66,683. Cash of prizes can all be yours, but only if you could face the devil. All right, Eric, here's your chance to earn yourself some more cash of prizes here. $65,000 currently in the Joker's jackpot. Do it on your first, spend three Jokers on one of your first two spins. We double that to $130,000 in cash, all right? Best, all right. best of luck to you. Let's, let's give away some cash of prizes this time. Come on. 1000 250 and 250 We start you off $1,500. We're $8,500 away, Eric. What do you want to do? Stop or go? We're going to go for it. All right, risking $1,500. Um. 2000 Joker and a Joker. Ah, what Joker away from a double win there. Ah. Uh. But you got yourself $2,000 guaranteed money. You got $3,500 in cash. What do you want to do? Stop or go? I'm going to go for it. All right. You're 6,500 away. Joker. 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 We got oh, a jackpot winner. Yes. Oh, one spin late on getting the double bonus, but congratulations, sir. You just won $65,000. Thousand dollars in cash. Yes, sir. Oh wow, we got to do some accounting here for you. We, okay, we're gonna start with oh. the sixty-five thousand of the Joker's jackpot that you've just won. We're gonna add to that prize package of over sixty-six thousand dollars to that, plus the five thousand dollars in the five Jokers you spun on the reel. So that's guaranteed money. Add it to your previous winnings. Eric, in one game here on the Joker's Wild, you've managed to walk away with $141,683 cash to prize. Congratulations. Awesome. Never thought I would spring three Jokers on a bonus round, I did. Yes, sir. Well, congratulations. You, you're going you're gonna to need a few days to count up all the money there on that one for sure. <laughs> Well, congratulations to you. We give it away $65,000 of the Joker jackpot, but we're going to see if we can try to give away some more as we're going to play the audience game next here on the Joker's Wild. So we're going to take another commercial break. We'll be right back with the audience game right after this. Welcome back to the Joker's Wild, ladies and gentlemen. It is now time for the audience game portion of our show today. We only have two members in our audience who are not the reigning interim champion to play, so we're going to do something a little special with them in this case. So I need Justin Neal to come on up here. It's time to play the audience game. All 
Alright, gentlemen, this is how this audience game is going to work. This is one part combination of uh, you're playing against yourselves, but you're also playing against me. Here's how. I'm going to spin the reels first to set to set the bar total. If either one of you has a chance, if either one of you could beat my score in the audience game, you're going to be playing for the prizes in the bonus round. If you both could get a higher total than me, you're both going to be playing the audience game for a chance for the prizes. You will each get your own prize package, okay? So good luck to both of you. Here's the score that you must beat in the audience game to play for some bonus prizes today. It is. Oh, wow. A tough score to beat. $1,900. Setting the bar really high on this one. All right, Neil, you got one shot at this, but there, you, that score can be beaten. All right, you ready? Let's go. Here we go. 1,000, 1,000, 1,000 perfect score, $3,000. Neil is, Neil is in. Definitely in. Are you kidding me? Uh -huh. Like an Aaron Judge one. It is. All right, Justin. You, you got to beat 1900. Here we go. 400, 300, 400. Not enough this time. Neil, congratulations. Where's Aaron Rodgers? Because I think I need a discount double check on that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> for, and, and just as of note as well, Neil, you are the first person this season in the audience game to get a perfect spin of $3,000. So congratulations, sir. That's yours. You're welcome, Remy. All right. So I'm going to take the $1,900 that I got, and we're going to put it into the jackpot for the audience game at the end of the season for our final audience game off on our last episode after the Tournament of Champions. Justin, you do get to keep the $1,100. That's going to be added to your score. And Neil, with $3,000 today, you're going to have a chance to see if you can win some prizes playing our bonus round. Let's do it! Well, here we go. <laughs> Alright, Neil. Got some great prizes and jokers up there ready to be won. Let's see how well you do in today's audience game. So when you're ready, give those lovers a spell. Let's see what you're playing for. Alright, let's go. Joker, Strip to Mazadline, and another Joker. Prize package so far $23,750 and a chance at a bonus spin. All right, let's go then. Joker, Joker, and a Joker. Fifty thousand dollars in cash gives you seventy-three thousand seven hundred fifty dollars cash in prizes, and you've earned the right to play for a brand new car. Three reels up there. Which one would you like to play for? Let's go number one. Number one behind number one, we have. The Chevy Cobalt worth sixteen thousand one hundred and ten dollars, meaning your prize package, Neil, in this bonus audience game bonus round, eighty nine thousand eight hundred and sixty dollars cash of prizes can be yours, but only if you face the devil. All right, Neil, audience game plays just like the regular bonus round. The only catch is here, the Joker's jackpot for the audience game is always $25,000. Spend three Jokers on one of your first two spins. We'll double it to $50,000 in cash, all right? All so right. Best of luck to you. Let's take hold that prize package. Let's do it. All right, here we go. First spin up, 1000 And really, Lucy? Ah oh, man, I'm sorry, Neil. Can't give can't give it to you on this one. But what I can do is you did get the three thousand dollars for the first part of the game, so that is yours to keep. So congratulations to that. Thank you. All right, and did you all have a good time today? Yes, yes. Well, certainly. Fantastic. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed yourselves, and thank you guys out in YouTube land for watching another fun-filled episode of The Joker's Wild here. Remember, if you like the series and like the show, make sure you give it a like rating down below, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button that way, and ring the notification bell. That way you never miss a video I drop here at MVG Productions. 
And until the reels come spinning your way once again, I'm your host, Brandon Scruggs, saying thank you for watching The Joker's Wild. We will see you all next time. Goodbye for now, folks. This is Michael Gentry speaking for The Joker's Wild, an MVG production in association with the YouTube Games and Entertainment Team.